Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Blaze Coon, and today we are back with another video of looking for new things uh, in Lumber Tycoon 2, kind of slash um, possible new features in Lumber Tycoon 2. So here we are not in Lumber Tycoon 2. We are in Lumber Tycoon 4, which is similar to Lumber Tycoon 3, which I have made videos about in the past, um, in, in that there are uh, many new features in these games. These are not made by the fellow too, just so you're aware. They are made uh, by fans of Lumber Tycoon 2, but they have so many different features that I wanted to showcase uh, off in today's video of uh, possible new features in Lumber Tycoon 2. I mean, I used to make videos about this in a different game. Uh, this one has more features than that game and has um, garnered a lot more popularity. People play this game and make a lot of money. Uh, um, doing so, and uh, yeah, let's just let's just start going through this game and uh, showing you guys possible new features that could be added to Lumber Tycoon 2, because Default 2 has taken um, um, hint and, and taken advice of other people before, so it, I wouldn't be surprised if he does so again, uh, especially with this game since it's getting so popular. Uh, so we have <laughs> uh, these different um, paintings here, but more than that, there's a lot more axes, right? Um, there are, there's like a static axe. Uh, that, let's see, that's in the game, right? YouTuber axe. Um, I couldn't see him adding any uh, some of these things, but something like this or these things, I could definitely see him um, add. Let's see what else there is. See, these are kind of funny. Some of these are like joking around. I couldn't see Devolver adding some of these things, but um, anything like these, like these really uh, high, really expensive axes, like because in our game we have. We have axes, right? But we don't have that many. And there are not um, that many varieties, and they're not even that expensive, right? What if he adds axes that are hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, right? He gives people something to do, actually spend their hard earned cash on, right? Because a lot, of, a lot of you guys, including myself, have millions of dollars, but nothing costs that much, right? Here's the, the gold axe. I actually made a video about this recently um, that used to be in the game. Um, and you see different car varieties and, and things like that. What is this? Is this a okay? This is a different sawmill or something like that. But let's look at someone's base, and we can definitely get some ideas from from doing so here. Cars. How many car, car varieties do we currently have? Maybe around three, three, four, something like that. Right. What if we, he added something like this or something like this? Right. A Lamborghini or or a Jeep or a Dodge or something like that. Right. I think this is the Back to the Future, Mandalorian, not Mandalorian, that's the wrong car, <laughs> uh, the Back to the Future car, we have airplanes, we have helicopters, we have big semi-trucks, uh, this is like a wood selling area where you can actually just put a massive tree through here if you wanted to, and instead of having to chop it up into smaller pieces and make more money that way, right, um, we have different types of sawmills, Things that allow you to have more opportunities and more uh, diversity in this game. Different chests that you can actually unlock. A computer, right? And they get blacklisted. <laughs> Anyways, let's just keep looking. There's so many uh, things in this game that could be added into Lumber Tycoon 2. Alright guys, uh, I spawned in my base and uh, now in the helicopter. <laughs> this is so weird to think about that we're in the helicopter in Lumber Tycoon, but... Um, anyways, let's get a little bit faster here so we can explore a map a quicker amount of time. Alright, that's the max speed. Uh, really weird controls in the helicopter, but I'm not going to complain. So, everything else is, is, a, is, a, is a recreation uh, of the actual map itself. Uh, so, we, so we see here the swamp, we have the lava biome and whatnot. Um, we have, yeah, what if we had different shops up here? What if we could have bases up here? Right, I guess that would create problems with actually getting to your base and whatnot. But what if we had shops up here, or actually just something to do in general up here? Um, let's go over here next. And um, oops, oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> and uh, we so we see here the tiger biome. This is all in the game, right? Uh, we have something weird happening here with this uh, water, but. Um, all this is a recreation, more or less. We have the icewood over here. But what if, right? What if this area opened up? This map takes advantage of the auto of many of the opportunities that, that Lumber Tycoon 2 has to, to actually expand, right? Here's a lot of open space. You can do things with that. 
Um, you don't want to make too much expansion, right? You don't want to make it a map so huge that you don't, you don't, new players don't even know what the heck's happening. Uh, but you'd also want to make something something new. Add some more shops. Make it make it new, right? So he opens, or whoever the cre creator of this map is, opens this up, makes a road over here, adds some different types of trees into this game, uh, a lighthouse right here. Uh, look, at, look at the color of these trees. It just, I don't know, there's so much opportunity. Right. Um, what else? What else? So even after you go over here, this road pretty much connects the, the two sides of the map together. Uh, there's not a, it's not a recreation of the map from here on, but here's like a little gas station. What if you had to refill your gas and, and pay for that, right? What, uh, what if you had these different types of, of biomes and different trees and different sounds uh, here? There's more shops, right? That, that's Link's Logic, I believe. Here's the, the ferry that, where the boat goes. What if that is skyscrapers, things to do inside of those skyscrapers, right? Here's a palm island, but it has like a lighthouse on it. Here's like a, a cargo ship. Um, and over here, right, it takes advantage of, like, it has a road around the entire map. You know, in Lumber Tycoon 2, you can only take a ferry back and forth from the two sides. What if you could drive as well, right? Um, what if there are boats that you can actually dry, uh, 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 navigate through and sail through the middle of this lake, right? Here's, like, a mansion. A couple of these things I was like, okay, yeah. No, the, you probably shouldn't add this. Like a mansion or these skyscrapers or or like a ton of shops, right? That probably not. But all these different roads and new biomes and new trees and new shops, like I think those are good ideas that would general, uh, genuinely uh, benefit uh, over Tycoon 2. Uh, let's keep looking through. There's like a little floating island in the sky that has a, uh, a different type of wood in it. Here's like an air runway for your airport that you can manage your planes at. Um, and having a helicopter would give you um, ability to to fly in the sky. And what if there was like, yeah a floating island like over there, where you can only access that wood, a very expensive wood, by actually flying up. Right, here's another uh, biome that's actually not in, in Lumber Tycoon 2 either, um, but it's like a almost a deserty biome. Right? What if what if we had a desert biome in Lumber Tycoon 2? Right. Um, and here are. Um, some different shops here, and here we're back. We're back. We didn't cover everything, but there's so much to cover, honestly, with this game. Um, there's just so much potential that has been taken advantage of, and that's why the creator of this game did this in the first place because there's just there's so much. He hasn't done it. He or she hasn't done it in, in, in the cleanest way because there's a lot of kind of mess that really shouldn't be there. But there's a lot of interesting things that he's taken advantage of um, in regards to this map as a whole. So there's so many opportunities um, uh, for improvement in Lumber Tycoon 2 and for expansion. And since we've been talking about that recently, uh, especially with uh, the new video that uh, videos that I've been releasing, um, this map gives a lot of inspiration for that. And I can definitely see Defaultio uh, taking inspiration from other other creators uh, for. Uh, new features that he could be potentially adding. So see this map, not as something that's going to be added, right? These features are not as something that's going to 100% be added, but see this map as um, possibilities for what could be added in the future. Uh, let me know your guys' favorite uh, feature in this map that you would like to see in the actual game itself. Uh, leave, leave that in the comments, and as well, uh, like the video, subscribe, and turn the bell on so that you know if I whenever I do upload a new video. And thank you guys for watching, and without further ado, peace out.